Hey, this is Glenn. Welcome back to my channel. Let's go traveling. Alright, so let's get down to it. You're here because you're looking at possibly moving to Costa Rica or living in Costa Rica or just wanting some details as to what the actual cost of living in Costa Rica is all about. So I'm going to break that down for you in as much detail as possible. I will share with you what it cost me to live in Costa Rica um, and what um, you know I'm paying on a monthly basis. For housing, electricity, and the absolute must-have, which is my cable service. Um, I have high-speed internet that is delivered to the house, and that um, is uh, Fiber Drop. It is it is awesome. It's a good, reliable source. But let's get into more of the details about other things before we get to that. So I will have a breakdown of all the costs in the description below and I will try to notate as much as possible on the display as I go through these numbers. All right, so here we go. So first things first, let me uh, cover where I actually live at. I live in a city called Alajuelita. It is close to San Jose, it's just outside of San Jose. Um, I'm also yeah, probably about an hour or so from the, the beach, so I can get to the beach. And I'm also close to the airport, so um, I, I picked a central location. And uh, a part of that has to do with the fact that it cost me uh, less than $500 a month to live here. And I'll break all those numbers down for you and uh, show you all the details. Uh, so uh, let's, let's get back to it. This apartment is... Um, two bedrooms it's got one bathroom it's an upstairs downstairs i've got a full kitchen uh, this didn't come furnished i had to get uh, my own refrigerator uh, washer and dryer and that sort of thing uh, but uh, in the long run it cost me a lot less monthly so uh, that's why i went that particular route you can get a fully furnished apartment and it has all the appliances and that and sort of thing, but it's gonna cost you a little bit more, or in some cases a lot more, depending on your location. Again, I worked on a budget that works for me to where I like to go out and eat and go and see the scenes and enjoy myself, and that makes me uh, spend less per month on you know my cost of living for the actual you know base necessities and i can splurge a little bit more on the things that i want to do uh fish and uh you know you, you name it so um i'm breaking this down for you so that you can base it on what your needs and wants are but the bottom line is for about 500 dollars a month or less in my case you can have a decent place to live and uh, you know have security and that sort of thing so let's uh, get to the nitty and gritty of this what is the cost of living in costa rica well for me um, let me break it down and give you the details as i promised i would uh, my rent rents about 300 dollars a month my water is 25 dollars um, a month uh, I have a cable service, high-speed internet, as I as I uh, indicated earlier. That's about fifty dollars a month, and then I have a local phone cellular service that I uh, get here through Claro, which um, you need for the most part because here you if you're not on an international plan, uh, which in some places it runs a little bit expensive, um, you need internet access and you need cellular service when you're out and about um, especially if you're driving or anything like that with your GPS and that sort of thing anyways that cost me $60 a month um, I just went I went on about an inexpensive phone which was about $100 I used that as my own personal 
um, hot spot when I'm out and about and that um, uh, does the trick and then the grand total for all of that is about $435 a month so um, I can only be here for 90 days at a time and then I return to my, my state of state of residence uh, in Florida and um, and then I return um, here for 90 more days at a time anyways long and short of it is I can leave for one day and come back but I usually go for about a week and um, you know get things I need to do in order in any case uh, that's the breakdown I hope that is helpful for you if you have any questions um, or any particulars uh, let me know uh, I'm gonna have to do a video on um, local banking here which is a little bit of a challenge but it's very doable a lot of people say you can't get um, bank in here unless you have residency and that's not true so um, I will uh, do a video on that at some point in time anyways I hope this was all helpful for you please subscribe and I will see you in the next video